Hi, can I please have an iced caramel macchiato, um, small? What size? Small. Anything else? Um, yeah, can I get a chocolate glazed donut? Okay. That's it. Put the two by the window, Thank you. You're welcome. What? National Donut Day. I mean, it won't be when you watch this, but if you didn't take advantage, you might want to today or, you know, once a month. It's okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Convos from the Whip, where I talk about all things focused and fit, and I encourage you to live unapologetically healthy. This week, we are talking about an ugly little demon that all of us have suffered from and struggled with for a while. That demon is comparison. So, let's go ahead and just get into it because this is going to be short and sweet, but I want to make sure that you are very, very conscious of if you suffer from comparison. Let's just talk about comparison for just a second. All right, comparison is that thing that you do when you are talking about somebody's clothes or someone's status or you are thinking about somebody in a negative way uh, that you think is might be positive or neutral, but when in actuality, you're really comparing what you have to what they don't or what they have to what you don't. What comparison really does is it creates disconnection because are you really gonna come go and talk about the thing that you are thinking about to the person that you're thinking about? Probably not. So it creates this disconnection that doesn't create a bond, doesn't create deeper relationships. Number two, I know you've heard this before, but comparison is the thief of joy. And I, you know, I said it because a lot of people don't really see it that way. Comparison is the thief of joy, but my friend Laura Casey said it best. Comparison is really the thief of everything. Comparison steals your joy. It steals your peace. It steals your sanity. It steals your connections with people. So when you are sitting there comparing yourself and your things to other people and their things, are you really creating a deeper relationship or are you creating a deeper hole in between you and that person? And last, you know, it just really leads to feelings of negativity and judgment. I'm not gonna lie, I have definitely lived in a, a spirit of judgmental Judy for a while. And I'm getting to the point now where I really do celebrate people and, and their achievements and their wins because it just makes me feel good. I am a celebratory person. I mean, go check out my IG feed uh, and see how I celebrated my birthday. You know, when you have these feelings of negativity all the time, it's really actually draining. And it's just like if you have a broken heart or you're, you know, you're really sad or you're really mad, you can't really live there and be peaceful be sure to know that if you have those feelings ask yourself am i comparing myself to something am i comparing myself to someone and if you are ask yourself why and is it something that they have that you want is it, and are you working towards having that thing if you're not doing the work then there's no need for comparison so i'm going to give you some ways to Ditch comparison because no one wants to live there. It's so draining, it's so unhelpful, and it's not beneficial to ev to everyone, anyone, you, me, no one. <laughs> I'm gonna give you three ways that you can ditch comparison right now. The first one, be you. God made you beautifully and wonderfully. And he knew what he was doing when he created you. And that's why there is no one on this entire planet, in this entire universe, like you. You have some very special gifts that you may not have tapped into yet. You might be an amazing speaker. You might be an amazing baker. You might know how to sew your behind off. I don't know. You might be able to fix my visor that keeps popping down. Who knows? <laughs> See? Whatever that gift is, 
you have it and no one has it except you the way you do it so live in that be you unapologetically it's part of being unapologetically healthy healthy you means a healthy you for the world why would you want to be like anyone else why would you want to spend all of your energy trying to be like someone else it takes too much time you already know you why are you going to take the time to spend trying to know someone else in order to do what they do and if you don't know yourself this is the perfect time to fill that space with getting to know you and what you like and what you don't like and where you want to go and who you want to be this is the time to do that not filling it with the space of trying to be like someone else number two stay in your lane i have a lane and you have a lane if i get in your lane in front of you all that's doing is slowing me down because i'm moving from one lane to another but number two it slows you down from going to where you want to go if you get in front of me you're impeding my progress so you know it's just a fight the whole time you're just fighting fighting vying for spot number one when guess what we are all winners we all can win there is enough for everyone you don't think that's possible look at the grocery aisle and go look at the bread aisle you know how many brands of bread are on the bread aisle and people are still buying the heck out of bread i mean i'm just saying have your own goals when you stay in your lane you have your own goals to attend to so rather than focusing on comparing what that person's shoes look like today go ahead and say you know what those shoes are hot i think i want fill in the blank and if you want a pair of shoes that's fine get you a pair of shoes but don't spend all your energy thinking about that person or like trying to down that person's shoes because they got them and you don't how about that number three celebrate others you guys if you don't know by now i am a very celebratory person when you celebrate others you fill the room with abundance and you fill the room with joy and it just streams all over everyone it goes across the board when you celebrate others others feel that and it makes them feel good and it creates an abundance mindset and not a scarcity mindset when you're worried about only what you did or what you didn't do you are blocking off any opportunity that you have for growing you're blocking off any opportunity for others to celebrate you because you're not even in the mindset to share what you're doing with others it doesn't make sense to you know sit around and and not celebrate what if what if your sister won the lottery i bet you'll celebrate then because then guess what oh we won the lottery not your sister but what you can do is celebrate your sister and you never know your sister might just share with you think about that and think about this celebrating you has nothing to do with you so why are you taking it personal when you celebrate others it's not a time for you to be down on yourself it's not a, a time to take it personal it's a time to celebrate that person and celebrate their wins so that they know that they're doing something right so that you know hey i can do that too and i can do it in my own way and i can win too you know just show appreciation showing appreciation for others is just a good thing i always appreciate when you know when people do things for me or when they acknowledge something that i've done i mean it just makes the world a little bit better don't you think well guys that was my edition of Convos from the Whip. Let me know what you want to talk about, and I will put it on the list of things to talk about. We can have the Convos and the Whip anywhere. Right now, I am in the parking lot of Dunkin' Donuts because, like I said, it's National Donut Day. And so I decided to enjoy my coffee and my donut here. <laughs> Until next week, I will see you. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more Convos from the Whip and for Workout of the Week because, yes, I am your favorite fitness strategist. I will see you in the next video. Love and hugs. Be focused and fit. I'll see you soon. Bye. Well, guys, that is my edition of Convos from the Whip this week. I hope you enjoyed it. 
let me know.